It was summertime on the island of Sodor, and all the engines were working hard. The engines felt rushed off their wheels, because as soon as one train ended, it was time for the next. By the end of the day, they were exhausted. And the Fat Controller knew this, so one night he decided to visit them in the sheds. I know all of you have been doing really hard work, and I am pleased with your work, but you need help. I have decided to buy Wilbert from the Dean Force Railway and have him as a permanent resident on our island. I hope he will help you a lot, and hopefully by the, t by the end of the summer we shall have our rest, said the Fat Controller. And then he drove away. The, fat, the engines were relieved and couldn't wait for Wilbert to come to Sodor. The next day, Wilbert came to Sodor. When he arrived at the sheds, the engines gave him a warm welcome. Wilbert was happy to be on Sodor, but he was sad. Henry could see this. He could see that Wilbert was unhappy, but he didn't say anything. Later that day, while Hen Wilbert was at a station, Henry puffed up. Is everything okay, Wilbert? asked Henry. Wilbert sighed. <sighs> I miss my home in Gloucestershire. It was so nice, surrounded by trees, and I just, I just miss it. I mean, I'm not complaining about being here. I love Sodor, but it's nothing like home to me, said Wilbert. Henry knew what this was like. When he had an accident with the flying kipper he had, and had to go to crew, he was miserable. He knew this and said, Meet me back here later. I have to show you something. I have something to show you, he said. Wilbur didn't know what to say, but said okay, and went about his day. Later that day, when Wilbert was done, he headed back to the station where Henry was waiting. Follow me, said Henry, and he puffed away. Wilbert soon followed. Henry took him to the forest. Wilbert was amazed. Henry, why did you take me here? Because I saw how sad you were and how you missed your home in Gloucestershire, which was a forest railway. So I brought you here so you could feel like you're at home. Well, thank you, Henry, said Bert. Now the two engines are as happy as can be. They have each other's company in the forest. And always, they are happy here.